Alice Solves the Puzzle is interesting for two reasons. The first is that it was one of the first animations to be censored, and I will talk about that in a moment. But the second is that it's the first time that there's an Alice Comedies that isn't played by Virginia Davis. And this is pretty weird to watch because I've watched a lot of the Alice Comedies and it's Virginia Davis. She's absolutely fantastic. Here, Alice is played by Margie Gay. And there is nothing wrong with the acting of this character. There is nothing wrong with the way she looks. She has a very kind of similar similar size and similar statue, stature to Virginia Davis. But I just miss Virginia Davis. Maybe in time I will learn to um, get over that because that's something very minor that doesn't really affect my enjoyment of the short. And it is pretty enjoyable. The fact that it's centred around a crossword puzzle makes me as a writer and as a fan of crosswords pretty happy. The fact that it was censored, it wasn't that bad. I can see why they censored it at the time, but, you know, looking back, it's absolutely harmless. So in this one, Alice is trying to do a crossword puzzle. She decides to um, leave the puzzle alone for a bit and play with Jinx. Um, she gets into her kind of swimming costume and they go up and down a slide and have a lot of fun. And then Peg Leg Pete comes along and... He is desperate to get his hands on Alice's crossword puzzle for one reason or another. And there's a bit of a, a fight, a cat and mouse chase going on. And he's obviously trying to steal this and Jinx is getting in the way of him. And there's a scene with a police officer and a pelican. And this is where the censoring comes in. Because this is the point where the, the German version was not censored. It's worth pointing out that the German version of this was not censored. It was censored in America, I think for two reasons. One, because I feel like it was unsuitable for children to show a police officer letting somebody past and then having the police officer take some alcohol from a pelican's beak. That did happen in this. But also it was during the time of the Prohibition. And that's obviously another reason why they would censor it. So I completely understand the reasons. But when you look back on it, it's it, it's a bit harmless. Um, I, I won't say what else happens after that because we're getting towards the end of the short and I don't want to spoil it. But I will say one of my favourite moments is when Jinx is climbing up the rope and then the rope just disappears but he keeps climbing and I'm genuinely really impressed with that bit of animation. I don't know if that's very easy to do. I'm not an animator. I don't know what is technically easy or difficult but I just found it very pleasing to watch because he was basically miming climbing the rope. And it was just so silly and such good fun that I really enjoyed it. And I, I did have quite a bit of fun with this one. I thought it worked very well. And, you know, from start to finish, I was um, engaged. And when I just called him Jinx, I meant Julius. That is the wrong cat. There are too many cartoon cats. Julius is, of course, Alice's cat. There's also a point with Julius where he has been playing in the water and then he wrinkles himself out. And I found that to be very, very entertaining. So it's, there's a lot of things in this. There are a lot of things that I found to be a lot of fun and, you know, definitely worth watching. And sure, bits had been censored, but it's not the end of the world. Yes, I will get used to Margie Gay playing uh, Alice. Although to me, Alice will always be Virginia Davis. It's good fun. The title cards help you follow the narrative because obviously it is... Um, mostly silent with a very, very nice little soundtrack definitely worth checking out you can find it on youtube which is where i watched it and yeah it's definitely not my favorite alice comedy but i think alice solves the puzzle definitely has its moments